This is a Mobileye, Intel Mobileye and Luminar for a Move It Robo Taxi. First of all, who is Luminar, Daniel? You might want to start there. All right, let's go. Talk about de spacking. So L A Z R, Luminar is laser. Um, actually, 26 year old Austin Russell and I got to spend about an hour together at the IA Mobile show. He took me into um, a couple of different demonstrations of LIDAR, which if you want to kind of simplify what this is, is it's the third sense. So when we talk about L2 driving or what Tesla does, Tesla effectively uses computer vision. Other L2 solutions use computer vision cameras and radar as their sensing technologies. But the problem is in some of these companies that are trying to go to this full self-driving or even partial self-driving, Pat, like the car that you drive, it allows you to take your hands off the wheel for a minute, up to a minute at a time, supposedly using the, the sensing of L2. Um, but we've seen a lot of problems with that. We've seen a lot of fiery crashes. And you know we are still at a point where most of it is more about assisting than it is about truly self-driving. But the, the holy grail is self-driving. Well, LiDAR is a very expensive technology, um, at least up to this point. So when you think about that Apple car, those Google cars driving down the road with the crazy uh, spinning hood on the top, right? That's LiDAR. That's a, 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 that is how at least most of the world sees LiDAR. Most of those systems cost tens of thousands of dollars per vehicle. So it's up to this point been considered almost an unusable uh, technology at scale. And so it hasn't really been put into place. But what Luminar has built is essentially a LiDAR, which Russell told me can be done at about $1,000 a vehicle at scale right now and can be put in. And so what Intel Mobileye has done, and Mobileye is radar and computer vision has a very uh, uh, holistic set of maps and integrations and camera systems and uh, in, in, a, in a whole economy for its L2 system. But the holy grail of robo taxis is that L2 plus system that's out in the marketplace is not going to work in a densely populated urban environment. You all hear the story about the carriage and the, and the babysitter and the coffee shop and the, you know, crossing the road and the car has to make an instantaneous decision. Well, with LiDAR, it has eyes further down the road. It's able to see more. It's able to do more. So, you know, I'm going to give one more little thing here on this uh, about Luminar, Pat, and I'll let you talk more about the Intel Mobile and Move It partnership so that we can split this one up. But they took me on the test track, Pat. They took me in a Tesla Model 3 with the full newest software update, and they did this detection with a small child in the middle of the road. Okay, and then they basically took the car to speed about 50, 60 kilometer, had it detected in the Tesla with the computer vision, and it could not stop from hitting a kid that was in the road about 100 meters in, in front of it. And, it. and it was it was static. The kid was static. And I took I put a video of this on Twitter, so we can put the link in the show notes of that video. The second demo they did was the same demo with LiDAR. So using the Luminar system and Voila, with the LiDAR, it was able to detect further down the road. And it, although the braking was very abrupt, it was able to, to do that. There was a third demonstration where the kid comes running out from in front of a parked car, which we all know that's the kid chasing the ball out of the driveway. We all learned about this in driver's ed. Well, it was also still on this kid moving out in front of the car, able to detect it and stop. And then there was a fourth example, by the way, worth noting of when that it, I, it has a false ID of a possible person running out in front of the road that is able to stop where it doesn't have the car slam, meaning it slows and but actually keeps going smoothly. So you don't because obviously every time you slam, you do jerk the driver, you create risk. So LIDAR, this third sense, adds a ton of capability and the Move It Intel uh, Mobileye Luminar partnership adds a technology that can truly potentially get us to this holy grail by having enough sensing to be able to put these taxis into densely populated urban areas. So this is really exciting. By the way, Movement is part of uh, Intel Ventures portfolio. Yeah, so real quick, uh, you know, you put these two uh, companies' technologies together, Mobileye and Luminar, and you get uh, a service uh, that is actually owned by Intel called Move It. And the big announcement was they're going to start uh, fully autonomous service in Tel Aviv and Munich starting in uh, 2022. Uh, what I really like about this is, uh, first off, getting a company that very few people know uh, into the spotlight. And I also like to see that Mobileye is, is 
taking a much more aggressive stand, stance here beyond L2+. Plus. I mean, if you think about where Mobileye started, it was all about uh, you know L1, and then it went to L2, and then L2+. Plus. Uh, in fact, uh, it's one of the market leaders uh, in there, and a lot of trucks have uh, their technology already. But the big question was, and I think, you know, NVIDIA stirred up the whole, you know, no, you really want to be L4 or L5, if not. And, and then um, it's not that Mobileye didn't have, have the tech or, or the know-how. They just had to work with Intel and what Intel was doing for L5 and L4. And now we see, you know, most of the industry kind of resetting itself on L2+. Plus. Uh, while looking to robo taxis and and L4 here, so all exciting. Uh, you know, we think quantum is slow. Uh, you know, look at how long we've been uh, talking about uh, self driving cars being uh, right uh, around the corner. But this is a good proof point that maybe we aren't as far away as we think we are. So, We're getting close. We're getting. It's yeah. going to happen faster though. The the gears are going to start turning. <laughs>